There you go. Thank Thanks you. so much. Have a, Have a good one. It is beautiful. I can't wait to use this thing. Wasn't that awesome? You know, I actually thought it was pretty unsafe. Oh no, we are <laughs> so not doing this right now. Listen, all I'm saying is that if I was in the front seat, this would have been a whole lot safer. Dude, the last time you were in the front seat, you tried to grab the steering wheel. Yeah, because I wanted to drive. You are a maniac. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> this isn't gonna be your normal tech review video. Mainly because I'm not a tech reviewer. I'm just not. Like I'm not gonna sit here and I'm, I'm not gonna talk about the specs of this camera. Instead, I'm just gonna put them up on the screen for you right now. And if you want, you could screenshot the specs. Now, if you are really interested in the specs of this camera in the One RS, you could listen to a guy like, um, like Peter McKinnon, maybe? I feel like, I feel like he kind of knows what he's talking about. All right, before we dive into the specs of the new Insta 361 RS, I swear people making product names are trolling the world. I would, oh. I would much rather spend my time and yours telling you all about how I plan on using this camera and what the practical application for this camera might be, which, spoiler alert, there is, nothing practical about this camera. Us filmmakers, we have a term in the industry for a camera like this. That term is loco. It's fucking insane. But more on that later. Right now I am with Tyler, he's been on the show before. I have an extension cable that if you sit in my back seat, you can hang it out of the car and maybe we could get a dope shot with the 360 camera. Oh, <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea? I think it's a fantastic idea. And we got Vic here too. Yo! Yo! What's up, bro? What's, What's up, up homie? How you doing, bro? It's Yo, great. It is crazy. Hop in, bro. It's warm in here. <laughs> Hop in. I really want to put this thing to the test now that we're out in nature and we're going to do that. I'm trusting you. <laughs> Bro, I got you. Say no more, I got you. You feel comfy? I'm 100% comfy. All right. You feel comfy, you feel good? Dude, I'm as good as I'm gonna get. Just another day in the office, you know? Indeed. Instead of going all the way around, I'm just going to be on the spot. Okay. 
so what's the verdict here? What's the conclusion? Should you buy this camera? Should you not spend money to buy this camera? The answer is I really don't know. I feel like it's not for me to say. Ultimately, whether or not you want to spend your money on a camera like this is entirely up to you. Just as a frame of reference, the One RS costs about $440. But if you want my opinion, that is definitely something I can give you. I can absolutely give you my opinion. Right now, if you are a creator, if you're a content creator, if you wanna start making YouTube videos or films or anything like that, if you are in the market for your very first camera and you think that this might be a good first camera for you, I would actually steer you away from buying the One RS for your first camera. Instead, what I would do is I'd point you towards something like a Canon EOS M50. I love this thing. This is my main shooter and thus far it's never failed me. Or you could just use a cell phone camera. You know, the majority of cell phones have cameras with 4K quality on it and that is professional quality, right? It's all about how you use the camera that you have. So. Honestly, you can't go wrong with a phone. I can also tell you this, the One RS adds a very different cinematic quality to all of your videos. There's really nothing like the 360 effect and the 360 capability, the 360 lens that this camera has. If you're looking for a diversification of shots to add into your films, your movies, your videos, your whatever you wanna call them, this camera might be for you. Oh, you figured it out? Not really. <laughs>